Fly Lady Diane here and welcome back to day two of the Fly Ladies Routines Challenge. First of all, fantastic what y'all did yesterday. If you looked in the comments, there are like hundreds of comments there. Everybody got off to a flying start. Boom, boom, Fly Lady. Uh, and today, when you, once you've done your routine, uh, I want you to do something different in the comments, but I'll get to that in a wee minute. Uh, but I loved reading where everybody's from, what time they'd finished, what the weather was like. Anyway, I'll get into that in a minute. Yesterday, my tip to you about being consistent with these routines, or routine, remember, where we're not overwhelming ourselves, we're just focusing on one routine, uh, if you're a new fly baby. The main thing is to write it down. And I said, you know, use a sticky note, um, you know, a, a piece of paper. You do not need to go out and buy stuff, more stuff in the shops or the stores to get started. I'm sure your friend, your um, kids have, you know, a little notebook that you can use, scrap of paper, whatever it is. If you have, I hope everybody has done the Fly Ladies uh, 31 Baby Steps. Don't just jump into the Fly Lady program thinking that you have to do everything. If you do, if you've done the Fly Ladies 31 days of baby stepping and I made a whole playlist for that. I walk you through every single day. The link is up here, I think. Um, you will have made, hopefully, if you follow the steps, you will have made a control journal and you'll have your list of, you know, your routine, morning routine, evening routine, afternoon routine written down in there, all right? The other thing that you can use is the Fly Lady Plus app. But I want you to hear this warning from me. The Fly Lady Plus app is fantastic. It's free. You can go and download it. Um, it's only available for Apple right now. Boo, but Android is coming. Here's a little warning. Do not, it comes preloaded with morning, afternoon and evening routine. Do not think that you have to do everything that's on that list. You adjust it to suit you and where you are on your journey, all right? So if you're a brand new fly baby, <clears throat> if you've just started doing the 31 baby steps and you've not got to control journal yet and all that, then just, you know, go for your, you know, shining the sink, um, you know, shine sink and write a little sticky note for yourself or, you know, dress to shoes in the morning. And yes, I've got my shoes on, indoor shoes, remember, not, not big clumpy boots. No bare feet, but let's not get into that again. Uh, anyway, so that was my tip yesterday. You've got to write it down so that you can cross it off and get it done. Today, I want to give you another tip. <clears throat> and something you've probably heard before. If, you, if you're a subscriber to this channel, you're thinking, oh no, here it comes. This little thing, a timer, is going to be your best friend. Also for being consistent with your routines. Why is that? And remember, you don't need to have, you know, I've got the Fly Ladies uh, timers. Uh, you don't need the Fly Lady timer, use whatever you have. But I'm going to tell you why the timer is going to help you to be consistent with these routines. Or routine, because we're only focusing on one thing. First of all, the timer will keep you on track. As I said to you before, I'm an introvert, I'm anxious, I've got 110 thoughts flying through my head the whole time. But when I use the timer, it keeps me on track, it keeps me focused on the job. The timer will also open your eyes and give you a reality check of how long you are taking to do things. Now, I'm a slow mover in the morning. You saw that when uh, I showed you my morning routine. I'm a slow mover, I need my coffee, but I just keep putting one foot in front of the other. That's all, that's, that's what we're all doing. We're just putting one foot in front of the other every day. That, that's what it's all about, just making a bit of progress. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but the timer will show you how much time you are actually spending on a task. Uh, one of the ladies I mentored, um, we worked on her morning routine. You know, if you've got a mentor, that's one of the things that we can help you with to adjust it to suit your circumstances. And in theory, um, she had 
four hours, she got up at something like five o'clock in the morning and started homeschool at nine o'clock. But in reality, they never got started till like 10 in the morning and nothing was happening. So we started looking at her morning routine and you know, we talked through it and so we said, well, you know, what do you need to do in the morning? We came up with something and it turned out, you know, she, would, she thought in her head that putting on her makeup and getting dressed, you know, to shoes, in her head that took her, say, one hour. In reality, it was taking almost three hours because she would start picking up, putting on her makeup, but then she would see something in the bathroom that needed doing and went off and did that. And, and when she started using the timer, she, she halved the time that she was using to get her morning routine done. She couldn't understand where her time was going because she didn't see where the time was going. She, she wasn't focused on the job and we are all like that. that. That's why I'm making these videos. I want to see you where you are sabotaging yourself and getting, uh, getting in, in your own way. You know, we, 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 we got to get out of the way and let ourselves just get on with the task and stop tripping ourselves up. So my tip for you today is if you're having trouble finishing your routine, then start using the timer, please. Please, please, please start using the timer. Because if you say to yourself, okay, um, I need to dress, you know, how long is that physically going to take? Is it going to take me five minutes? Because if you're living uh, in sunny California, it probably takes you five minutes to get dressed. I'm in cold Denmark right now and it takes me a bit longer because we've got more layers and, you know, when we go out, I'm still wearing a hat and scarf and gloves right now, yeah, in almost in May. It's dreadful weather here right now. But be realistic about it. So if you start using your timer, you will see how long it actually takes you to get dressed. And, it, you know, it, we don't want you to be panicked and it to be a race, but it's really eye-opening to see how long you're spending on it plus at the same time it's you're focusing on the task you're saying okay it's like you know a horse when it gets its blinkers on you're just shutting out the rest of the world and focusing on that task and that's all we want to do we just want to get things done so that is my little tip for today i want you to if if you're struggling to get started on your morning routine or get it finished or it's taking a long time you've got to keep that routine simple and you've got to time yourself or use the timer and see how long it's taking right so that that's the little tip for the day now to get back to the comments thing when you have done your morning routine or afternoon routine or evening routine today I loved reading, you know, I love knowing where everybody is. We've got people all over the world. We've got people in Russia, um, France. Um, we've got uh, ladies all over the United States from coast to coast, Canada. We've got Australia in Sweden. Did I mention Germany? Um, oh, anyway, so what I really want you to do is to, when you've finished your routine today, when you've completed it, I want you to tell me what your favourite film is, your favourite uh, movie, and your favourite smell. Now, I'm going to have to do two movies uh, because I've got various things that I like. Uh, my favourite film, my favourite films are Thoroughly Modern Millie. Uh, I've loved that film since I was a child. And my other favourite film, because I love kind of things like action and comedies, my other favourite film is Hot Fuzz. So I, I want, when you've done your routine today, let me know in the comments what yours are, and then we'll all get some ideas what we can use for pamper time. And the other thing I want to know is, what's your favourite smell? So, and it can be anything, you know, it can be, um, like, my favourite perfume is uh, Coco Chanel, and, uh, but my, my real favourite smell ever is coffee. I remember the first cup of coffee that, uh, you know, when I had my, my kids in Denmark, they, when you've had a baby, they come in just after you've given birth and they've got this little tray with a Danish flag on it and uh, hot toast 
and uh, coffee and that's just the best and I, I still remember it you know that moment when they bring in the tree and ah the smell of coffee so I want to know what your favorite smell is so put that in the comments and we can all learn a little bit about each other because we're going to be together on this little challenge journey for the next uh, seven days okay so that's it for me fly lady Diane get on with your routines let me know where you, how you're doing and I shall see you tomorrow for day three okay live long and prosper have a great day bye for now